Hello, this is Preet, and I'm going to show you how to set up a development environment uh, used for being able to compile embedded systems project uh, for San Jose State University classes that I teach. So the first thing we need to do is find the development environment, which can be conveniently found by searching on Google for SJ2C. Uh, the SJ2 is like a board we use, and C is a C development framework. So it's on the uh, very first search at Google. So if we click on it, so this is a repository that we need to clone. And what I would recommend is you click on the clone button, uh, you copy this uh, URL, and you go back and you command prompt. And let's go ahead and make an SJC directory, uh, cd into it, and we would do git clone and then paste that URL. Okay, so well, that didn't work. Um, so let's try the HTTP clone method. Uh, let's do it this way git clone, paste that URL. Okay, so there you have it. It's um, downloading the entire repository, which uh, takes a little while because uh, it ha <coughs> has um, multiple compiling environments checked in. So if I do pwd, I'm in my SSU directory. Um, ls-al tells me what's in it. So once you do git clone, then you have this uh, directory that was cloned. I'm going to cd into it. Okay, so now if I do ls-al, these are the contents of that directory. And the next thing we need to do is to understand, well, now I have this, what do I do with it? Well, to get familiar, um, the projects has a bunch of projects that you can compile, but you want to start off with the readme. There's a lot of detail in the readme. So it tells you a little bit about the package, uh, which is, you know, it's all, all the projects are implemented in C. There's minimalistic design and we follow good design principles as well. So read these readme files very thoroughly. And the next step is to be able to build and flash your project or learn about um, SCONS, which is a Python library, you can call it, to be able to compile your projects. So it's usually going to be as easy as just typing scons or scons but in this case it tells me that hey the command scons is not found we can install it by typing this command uh, let me try to follow the readme files so let me see what it says build and flash project so for Windows, you have to install Python and scons, but on um, Ubuntu machine that I'm using, the Python is already installed. So let me try typing pip install scons as instructed by the uh, readme file. Okay, so that installed it. So let's try typing scons. So there you have it. So now once you type scons, notice that, you know, scons is um, meant to build a default project which is underneath the LPC 40xx free RTOS folder. So SCONS has built that project and if I do LL or LS-AL is an alias that I have set for LL. So if I do LL, you know, now you have this new directory which was not present before and if I LL that directory, you will see that here's the hex file that you need to load on your uh, ARM processor. So yeah, a a SCONS will by default build the uh, LPC40XX folder. If I type it again, because the compilation already took place, you know, it tells you this uh, immediately. It doesn't need to rebuild the entire directory again. So let me um, share a couple of tricks with uh, SCONS, which may you may find useful. Um, one is that if I do LL on the projects directory, there's actually all these projects you can build. Um, this pro this uh, video is going to focus exclusively on just this project. Uh, you can find other videos on my YouTube channel 
which will tell you how to use FreeRTOS uh, project, how to use this x86 projects. Uh, these are built on your machine. In this case, it will be the Ubuntu machine where you can compile a FreeRTOS simulator. But anyway, that's uh, out of scope for this video. So you can build these three projects. If I um, type scons dash dash project equals uh, LPC 40XX comp 30 which is one of the courses I teach, uh, it will build the source code in that directory. Um, part of the scons, um, uh, scons sequence is that it will run the unit test before it builds your code. So you'll see, you know, these unit tests uh, getting run, um, which is also part uh, going to be another video you can find. But anyhow, uh, the other thing we can do is um, we can say, you know, scons, you know, project equals LPC 40XX free RTOS dash C for cleaning that project. It'll basically wipe out everything in your um, build directory. So you see. The hex files are gone in the in that directory. Um, you can say dash j uh, 10. That means it will use 10 threads to compile. So you'll notice this time it will compile a lot faster, as you can see. Okay, so let's uh, keep this video short and to the point, uh, which is you know how do you clone the project? Um, how do you CD into that uh, into the uh, um, directory you just cloned, and how to compile your project, which will produce the um, hex file that you need to load to your pro uh, to your processor? Um, and the follow-up videos will also tell you a lot more about uh, this awesome um, compiling environment that we have uh, set up for you. Uh, thanks for watching and, um, you know, uh, please go ahead and subscribe and watch other videos which you may also find very useful.